Hi everybody, it's Mr. G. And today we are going to draw a cheetah. So I'm gonna put this iPad where it belongs so that we can see the paper that I'm gonna draw on. I had a request from a student, Cheyenne, who said that she was doing a research paper on cheetahs and she wanted to know how to draw one. So what I've done is I've looked up, I just typed in the word cheetah on my computer and all of these images comes up with hundreds and hundreds of pictures of cheetahs. So it always helps me when I draw to look at a picture. So I'm actually gonna look at this one right there and there's a nice picture of a cheetah face there and we're gonna draw that. So, actually, I think I'll put this right next to this so that we can all see. I know there's a glare there. But first of all, we're going to start out with the basic shape of the cheetah's face, and that is a circle. So we're going to sketch a circle like this. Okay, I don't think you can see that very well. In fact, I don't think you can see it at all. Let's see. All right, that's better. It was really bright before. Okay, so now at the bottom of the cheetah's head is a little chin. So down here, we are just going to make this circle have a little chin there. And then, what shape is this mouth? It is kind of a triangle. So we're just going to draw a triangle like this. That's where the mouth is going to be. We can just sketch these things in. Then it comes up a little bit right here. That's this little area that goes to the nose. And then again, what, what shape is this nose? It's another triangle, but it's going to go like this. It's got a little bit of a curve, and then it comes across. So that's where the nose is going to be. And then if we go directly up from there, here and there, that's basically where the eyes are gonna start. So, the eyes are gonna be circled. So we can just make a round circle here and a round circle there, about the same size. Now, one of the telltale signs of a cheetah is these black stripes that come down right from the corner of their eye and around their nose and down to the mouth. So if we start here and we come down and around like that, that's the line of how cheetah's markings under their eye go. And we can make that blacker later on we color this in. Now if you look at this shape of the eye, it actually comes up to like a point like this. And then this one comes down like this and up to a point like that. So again, it comes out a little bit more like this and like that. Okay, now we have shape of the f the head comes around like this and like this so we can sketch that in the eyes have a black pupil and inside the black pupil we're going to leave a little bit of a white reflection and we're just going to color in that black part we're going to do the same thing on the other side black pupil white reflection color that in This is darker around here, and it's darker down here as well. And then we ha they have another line in their eye like this. And if you want to color this, it's a, a brownish color. We can color that later, the eye. So it's going to go like this. This is mostly dark, lots of black around the eyes. And down here as well. And then again, later on, we can color that in with a brown. The nose is also black, so we can color that in. 
You can use a pencil or you can use a marker later if you'd like. But that's black. And then this line that comes down here and then this is black as well. You can make it look like maybe he's got some fur by just kind of doing some zigzag lines like that. It looks a little bit more furry. And then down here, again, he's got kind of a, like a beard type thing. And again, these, these markings are a little thicker, so we can kind of make those a little bit bolder and thicker. I'm just sketching this. I'm just using a, a rough sketching motion here when I draw this in. And then he's got a lot of markings, a lot of spots. Obviously, cheetahs have lots of spots. But we kind of want to put them in the right areas. They've got spots coming down here on their eyes. So we can just make some spots coming down like that. Okay. Just looking at where they are there. There's definitely some spots on the cheeks, so we can just, again, you don't have to do, be perfect with them. You can just make them kind of rough. Put some in here as well. They don't have to be exact because all cheetahs are a little bit different. So if you don't put the spot in the exact right place, it's not a big deal. So we'll put some little spots in there. And then on their forehead, they've got kind of like almost a stripe of spots going up. Again, kind of random. And then they've got some almost like an eyebrow kind of spots going up like this, right from the eyes. And if you make them a little bit sketchy like this, they look more like fur. They look like the dots that might be in fur. Now, obviously, we're forgetting a, a main thing, and that is the ears. So here's the top of the head. And the ears come off like this, and then around. So they go up and around, kind of like a letter U upside down. Okay, and then again, we just want to make them look furry. So we'll make some sketches like this. And same thing over here. Again, it really does help to have a picture that you're going off of so you can look and observe where things are and what shape they are and that'll help you as you draw. It's really difficult for me to draw just using my imagination. I really like to look at something, you know, if I'm trying to draw something realistic, I really like to, I'd rather look at a picture of something. My son well, both of my, all well, my kids are really talented, but my son Nick can draw stuff just out of his imagination, and it always uh, impresses me because I really can't do that very well. So I'm just going to add some more. There's a lot more dots up there. It almost looks like you can't even they kind of blend into the fur. So I'll just add a few more of those. And then we're almost going to be done. I'm going to add one last thing. And that is, you can barely see me, but there's some whiskers. And I always uh, like to do it like this. There's actually just a little bit of a... The cats have these little, like, freckles here. And that's where the whiskers grow up. And they go down. So I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm just going to... If you do it kind of fast. They actually look more like whiskers growing off the cat. So I am done sketching that cheetah. It's a pretty simple thing. It's just got a round circle. You start with a round circle. Add a little bit of a chin here down below. Find the eyes are in the middle. Here's the top. Here's the bottom. Here's the eyes in the middle. 
and they're about the size of a nickel or a penny and then they've got this little bit of an S curve from the corner, the inside corner of the eye down here around the nose and back down to the mouth or chin and that's really what makes it look like a cheetah is that markings under the eyes. So you go ahead and give it your best try. Cheyenne, I hope this helps you and anybody else that wants to draw a cheetah face, this is it. I will draw another one in my next video that will have a cheetah running. So I'll do the body as well. And that might be a little bit more realistic drawing as well. But this is a cheetah face and I think anybody can do this no matter what age you are. If it doesn't turn out like mine, that's okay. I'm going to color this one in a little bit and uh, I'll show you the picture of it colored in later. Thanks guys. Hope you have a good day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.